All right, I just want to today make a quick video about uh, some tree tubes that I'm going to put on this year. Um, I've used them before. Um, they didn't work out so great um, out on some other property, um, mainly because I was using these this this half inch um, PVC uh, conduit for electric, um, and we have cows on our there's a person that rents the property that has cows and so they just of course knock him over um, i also made a, a mistake i cut the ends at an angle um, that was not a good idea so um, now i'm using these five foot half inch metal conduit for electricity um, you could just buy i bought these i just bought i think 18 of them at lowe's um, I think they're like two something a piece, 229 or 228, something like that. So what I'm doing right now, um, and I have a lot of these, I uh, just went down uh, this valley behind behind our house that I planted, a, direct planted a bunch of acorns and found a bunch of trees uh, that, that uh, has sprouted this year, so that's good. These I planted in between my neighbor's house. I'm not going to show their house, but I planted um, four um, trees or acorns. Um, and here, there's the their sawtooth oaks. Um, so they came up. They came up a lot later than the container planted ones. Um, they're not planted very deep. Um, I wouldn't think the soil temperature would be that much different, uh, but it probably is. Um, I also wonder if some of these grow, uh, spend more time growing the roots uh, when you drag plant them. I'm not sure, um, but those are just two theories I have. Just to kind of show you, I'll just move over to this one. So all I do is I stick the tube over the top of the tree, um, and then it has these zip ties, and then I push the I line it up. I don't think I could do it with. Oh, and these tree tubes here have holes. Those go towards the top and the solid goes toward the bottom. Basically, you'll line it up just like that. Uh, put your conduit in there, push it into the ground, and then tighten the zip ties. So, pretty easy, but uh, hopefully, these help um, protect them from things you know rabbits and stuff eating them off the bottom and make them grow extremely fast um, so the i guess i should go back why i originally used the pvc conduit um, there's a lot of a lot of people claiming that the pvc allows more flexing in the wind which allows the trunk to be a little stiffer uh, because they are they do grow tall um, so that's maybe the downside of using the the more rigid uh, conduit but i believe i'm willing to give up some of that um, we'll see how it turns out but that's i'm gonna go with the metal so that at least it's still standing for me so i'm sure if i wouldn't have cut them at an angle uh, they would have went in a lot easier um, at the angle it, they want to move they twist and go sideways on you so uh, I may redo, take some of those, cut them off, and try them again. So, all right. Thanks for watching, everyone.